Hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at inserting a book into a database using our database interface here, database.py, and using SQLite. We've looked at creating a table before. Now let's move on to the add book function here. And the first thing to do, of course, is to set up the connection, including creating the cursor, committing, and closing. I'm just going to copy this, which again, you should not do. You should type this code, but I've typed, I've typed this code many times already. So I think I'll be okay. What we want to execute now is going to insert some data. That's the syntax, insert into. Insert into, then we have to specify the table that we want to insert into, and then the values that we want to insert. Notice that now we put some brackets, and in these brackets, separated by commas, go each of the columns in here. So we could do one of two things. The first one is make this into an F string. And then inside quotation marks, put the name, the author, and zero, because that's the red status that means false to begin with. Notice how we've put these inside quotation marks, because this is what's going to get sent to SQLite. And these are, un uh, are around, quotation marks are around these, so that SQLite knows they are strings. If we don't put them in, it will think this is a table name. And it's going to get very confused because we're going to try to insert a table into another table. Uh, and it doesn't like that, of course. So make sure to put the strings in there so that it knows that these are strings. We can do this. Let's run our app.py. Oh, sorry, I had it running before. I'm going to run it again. And there you see what happens. We get a traceback. Now, how do we analyze these tracebacks? Well, we already know. This is a SQLite operational error. That means something happened when we were trying to perform an operation. And it gives us a nice description. Table books already exists. We tried to create a table books, but it was already existing. Let's close this and add another bit of syntax. You can create table if not exists. This is not terribly English-like, but this will do the job. It will only create the table books if it doesn't already exist. And of course, another option is to delete data.db entirely, and that will be fine. So I'm going to do that as well. Delete data.db, run the app. Now it works, you can stop it. You can run the app again, and you can see that it still works even though we've already got the database there. Let's add a new book. We can say clean code by Robert, and it seems to work. Of course, if we try to list all the books, it's going to go over to our JSON file, so that's not too good. For now, we can only add books. So as you can see, this works, and we can add new books. We cannot list books or you know read books or anything like that. Let's stop the app, and I'll go back over to this execute statement. I said there were two ways of uh, performing this execute, and that is the first one is using an F string but this is not the recommended approach. And here's why this is not the recommended approach. I'll just give you a quick piece of advice. We're going to put the contents of name into this string, and we're going to put the contents of author into this string here. But what you didn't know is that you can run multiple SQL statements altogether when you do an execute. So for example, let's say the author was this. Let's say the contents of author was this. Now, I understand that you probably don't know what this means, but if we put this code right in where author is, what happens is that now we get two statements. This one, that inserts a value into books with a name, an empty author, and zero. A semicolon allows us to run another statement, and this statement deletes the books table entirely. And then we get some invalid syntax at the end, which would probably throw an error. But nonetheless, these two statements would have ran. You would have inserted some books, and then you would have dropped the table. This is really dangerous, because this is called a SQL injection attack, and your users can be nasty enough to try it, to do it. So if you have a direct 
replacement, of, this is called string interpolation, if you have a direct replacement of a string into your query, it potentially opens up this, this path of attack. So don't do this. Instead, what you want to do is remove everything and put a question mark. Remove everything and put a question mark. You can leave the zero there if you want. Then put a comma after the string and inside a tuple, type name and author. Make sure that this is a tuple and then SQLite is going to, SQLite 3 is going to put this in there, this one in there safely. So if they are a SQL injection attack, you will be safe. So this is what to do. Let's run the app again. I'm going to add another one, test driven development by Kent Beck. And you can see that this all works as well. And this is a better way of doing things. It's more secure. SQL injection attack, really popular. Don't open yourself up to it in your applications. And the way to do that is do this. Do not use F strings or direct string formatting on your queries because that's not safe. Okay, that's it for this video. We've looked at inserting values into our database. Let's move on to the next one. I'll see you there.